Our brain is like a radio that opens up to different experiences at different frequencies. Let me explain how. Human beings are delicate creatures who easily go off balance. One disappointment and you can get lost in your mood swings for days together. One threat looming on the horizon and you get stuck in fear. One failure or a lost opportunity and you can stay in regret and shame for years. In the past few weeks of the seclusion, so many people have moved into dangerous levels of emotional insecurity and a few of them into anger. Why are we so fragile? The reason lies hidden in the folds of the grey matter of our brain. Human brain has the potential for sheer genius. It can act as a doorway to superhuman powers like being able to manifest in many places at the same time. And there are centers in the brain which when activated can open your consciousness to God experience or enlightenment experiences. This miraculous human brain can also be a doorway for the untold pain and violence in the collective human consciousness to flow through, pushing you into depression. Did you know that according to the World Health Organization, there is a huge possibility of mental depression emerging as the next global epidemic in the coming five to seven years? How prepared is the world for this possibility? How sure are you that every member in your family is spiritually strong enough and will not succumb to this wave of depression? How is your brain? Is it drawing thoughts and emotions of a lower frequency or a higher frequency? Let us talk today of a subject you probably have heard of but have not fully comprehended its depth. Our brain is like a radio that opens up to different experiences at different frequencies. Let me explain how. Just as our heart has a pulse, our brain too has a pulse. There are electrical impulses that pass amidst neurons or the nerve cells in the brain. They are measured in terms of cycles per second. Most people for the largest time of the day experience beta frequency, which is 14 to 40 cycles per second. At this frequency, what your brain tunes into is a cacophony of thought noise. You feel like thoughts are charging at you like freight trains relentlessly, not allowing you to focus or savor anything. Living at this frequency is a very poor use of the brain as an instrument. The second frequency at which your brain operates is called alpha. Here your brain is calmer and pulses at 8 to 14 cycles per second. When your brain is an alpha frequency, it draws the power of healing to itself. Here your visualization and intention hold greater power. At this frequency, you actually begin to tune into the beautiful states of consciousness. You tune into the divine better. Prayers are answered faster. Theta is the next frequency of your brain. Here your brain is vibrating at 4 to 8 cycles per second. If you can be wakeful at this frequency, your third eye begins to open up and you experience astral visions, visions of the other worlds. You even see and feel your own personal divine as a direct experience. You open up to a deep state of trance. When your brain moves to delta frequency, your brain is pulsing at zero to four cycles per second. Oftentimes, this is how your brain is in a dreamless, deep sleep. But if while you are awake, you can be in the delta frequency, the nirvikalpa and the savikalpa samadhi states flow through your consciousness. There is one other frequency that science has in recent years discovered. 
the gamma brain waves. In gamma, your brain is pulsing at 40 to 100 cycles per second. Are you wondering what your brain would tune into in the gamma frequency? It tunes into deep insight. It tunes into states of compassion and oneness. The human body is an enigmatic machine. It is an incredible doorway to mystic secrets of the universe. And the science is only beginning to grasp the mystic potential of human consciousness. Before we conclude, let me remind you, this month is observed world over as Mental Health Awareness Month. So where do you want to begin? How can you, your family and your team begin your journey from beta to gamma? You begin it with simple yogic breathing. Inhale deeply and lengthen your exhalation as far as possible. As your exhalations become longer, longer than seven seconds, your brain frequency shift from beta to alpha and you tune into states of calm, you tune into states of restfulness. Before I conclude, let me share a secret for the students. If you are a very distracted student, it is likely your brain is in beta. Before you sit down to study, practice three minutes of yogic breathing. Your brain will begin to pulse slower in the alpha frequency and your attention will hold longer. <laughs>